Hello everyone, I'm Coach Dan Palacios of Kinetic Training here on the Celebrity Sweat Store on Bodybuilding.com and I've got two tremendous training tools to introduce you to today. First is the Breath Belt. It's a wearable elastic resistance system applied directly to your abdominal and spinal muscles to teach them to turn on properly, teach you to breathe diaphragmatically, and tax all of your breathing complexes while you're doing intense metabolic or heavy resistance work. Here we have the Chop Fit Chopper. It's a resistance based weighted club with a rubberized finish so it can be struck against soft surfaces without breaking them. Now the great combination here really is that the breath belt is wearable resistance that turns on your abdominal muscles and lengthens them as you move, rotate, shift and get your body going athletically as well as metabolically. The chopper gives you the opportunity to work on rotational movement patterns and transverse movement patterns. That way you're learning all kinds of new body positions and all kinds of new movements in a safe and effective way. The combination of these two products together will give you an intense metabolic workout that totally changes your movement profile and makes you a better athlete. Thanks for joining me here on the Celebrity Sweat Store on Bodybuilding.com. We'll see you next time. All right, Bodybuilding.com, welcome to the Celebrity Sweat Store. We're going to get a little workout with our breath belt and our Chop Fit Chopper. We're going to be starting it off by just creating mobility through the shoulders and back, squeezing the abs and glutes to resist the breath belt. We're going to contract our rib cage, pushing it out against the belt, and that's going to begin to lengthen our spine. We've got our right hand on top. We're going to switch left hand on top, reaching back further and further using the weight of the head of the chopper to help open up our spine and our chest and shoulders as we bring the chopper back. Here we're going to stretch it forward, squeeze it back. Forward, squeezing the pecs, squeezing the rhomboids, making sure that we're not only driving it out and forward, but squeezing the shoulder blades back as we move the chopper in and out. We're now going to go into a rotational movement pattern, bringing the arm over and around and as we bring it over around we're going to keep that momentum going to open up the chest and shoulder and start to get the lower body involved by pivoting the toe and rotating the hips. That's the forward direction. We'll go backwards again using the centrifugal force of the head of the chopper to create that resistance and movement. This is all about velocity and momentum, learning the, teaching the body to control that velocity and momentum at end ranges of motion where the muscles will typically get injured if they've never experienced that type of load. So the good thing about the chopper is that it's lightweight, but when velocity and speed is applied to it, it obviously becomes a lot heavier due to the gravitational forces. So the four pound head of the chopper swung with speed can easily be upwards of 40 or 50 pounds. Going in reverse, big sweeping circular motions opening up the chest and shoulders, making sure not to stay too linear. We don't want to stay in a really blocky position here. That's not a natural movement for the shoulder as far as throwing patterns are concerned. So turning the body into it and teaching the body to move fluidly as a unit, as a team, is an incredibly effective way to teach athletic movement patterns that involve the entire body moving with speed, power, and efficiency. And if we complete this little series three or four times, we'll have a great little shoulder warm up and workout going as part of a larger circuit. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Celebrity Sweat Store on Bodybuilding.com. We'll see you next time.